Greetings loves, it is I, Tactical Girlfriend. Glad to have you all back here on the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very special gear review. In fact, it will be my first one ever. And that will be with an item that you've probably seen on a lot of my previous videos. That is gonna be one of my most favorite pistols, the CZ P10C. In the firearms world, we have a lot of very good options available to us, but this also means that we have a lot of daunting decisions to make around our purchases. This is especially true when we're trying to be pragmatic around purchases involving things that may defend our own lives. So therefore, very careful consideration needs to go into things such as the technology that is incorporated into whatever item that you're gonna buy. In this day and age, while the all steel pistol is a very fun, easy, and comfortable weapon to fire, I do think that's generally relegated to competition and recreational shooting. When we're talking about a defensive pistol, I will always recommend polymer to save weight where you can. If you're gonna be trying to carry this thing around with you all day, you certainly don't want it weighing you down any more than it needs to. Another feature I generally look for in a contemporary defensive pistol is a striker-fired mechanism as opposed to a hammer. While hammers are absolutely adequate, I do find that strikers are simpler, safer, and more reliable. And those are very important aspects to me, and they should be for you too. Also, one of the most critical aspects of any firearm is going to be the caliber. For a defensive pistol, I tend to default to 9mm. Reasons being that it is the availability, variety, and the ballistic performance that has evolved very well with this cartridge over time. And so, for all the reasons that I listed, that is why I recommend something such as the CZ P10C. As you guessed, this is a striker-fired polymer 9mm pistol. This one in particular is the CZ P10C Optics Ready version. It is 26 ounces and its MSRP is $577. A few things about the CZ P10C. First thing, the C. That stands for compact. However, I do find that these sit roughly between most full-size and compact models out there. This is a little bit larger than a Glock 19, but it's a little bit smaller than a Glock 17. A few little nuances that you should note about the CZ P10C. First, let's start with a little history lesson on the CZ P10C. It was released in 2017, and it has undergone what you could really define as two different generations. The first generation was simply offered in a base model as well as a suppressor ready version. The second generation dawned with the optics ready version and subsequent base model and suppressor ready variants. The second generation has some very notable improvements on it. First of all, the trigger is a little bit longer and a little bit slimmer. This really helps prevent your trigger finger from getting pinched underneath it when you pull it back. The trigger feels smoother and more refined, and the optics ready version comes with a tritium and surrounding orange ring front sight post. The Gen 1 CZ P10C has an ambidextrous mag release, whereas the second has been redesigned as a one-sided mag release and is softer and easier to push in. The Gen 2 also uses a steel guide rod instead of the captured polymer guide rod in the Generation 1. You'll also notice that the slide back plate between the Gen 1 and Gen 2 are different. That is because the Gen 1 had a few issues with the striker rotating in the striker channel, which have been fixed in the Gen 2 with this new mechanism. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is takedown. Just like a Glock, there's two little levers on either side of the frame, which you will pull down while simultaneously pulling the slide just ever so slightly back, release this forward, and then we have our little recoil spring, and then we have our barrel. So the barrel is actually quite beefy. You'll notice that this is a little bit more substantial than your typical Glock barrel. I like comparing most things to Glock just because that's a bit of an industry standard, but it's a great barrel. It is not cold hammer forged on the OR version but nonetheless, it is very robust and I think it will last for quite a few rounds. All right, so ignoring the big honking piece of glass on the slide here, let's talk about the iron sights on the optics ready version. For the rear sights, you get a very simple plain black notch sight. And for the front sight post, you have a tritium insert with a surrounding bright orange ring. Both of these are very bright, very easy to catch with your eye. Very, very, very intuitive to use. I love them, they're great. Moving down the slide, we have both rear serrations as well as forward serrations for all those really tactical people who like to do press checks like me. I love them, they're great, they're very aggressive, well cut, very easy to use and manipulate. Another really neat little feature on the slide is the loaded chamber indicator, which is located just along the extractor right here. 
if you put in, in this case a dummy round into the chamber you can actually feel a little bit of outward relief coming out from that little indicator it's not visibly very obvious but it's great if you just want to feel for it you'll notice that that is sticking out and it'll tell you that the chamber is indeed loaded the mag release on the CZP10C is very nice and smooth the Gen 2 is definitely very much improved upon the Gen 1 very very simple to actuate very intuitive to use um, the Gen 2 as I mentioned before is not ambidextrous however you can switch it to the other side if you choose the slide release however is ambidextrous it also is very stout it does require some very intentional force to actuate it however I definitely prefer that over the alternative where you definitely don't want to have your slide release at the wrong time this is especially a really nice slide release because it does kind of break in over time and it is pretty nice and smooth at this point after putting a few thousand rounds through this thing. Another fun little thing on the CCP-10C is the auto forward feature. If you have the slide locked back and load a loaded mag in with force, it does actually drive the slide forward. As far as magazines go, the CCP-10C comes with two of these babies. They are 15 rounders, they are steel box with a nice bright orange follower, and they retail for about $35. There's also other options such as expansion plates and 17 rounders and probably a whole slew of other aftermarket ones, but these are the standard grade. All right, one of the most crucial aspects of any firearm is going to be its trigger. The CCP-10C does not disappoint here. As far as out of the box triggers go, this thing is one of the most competitive in the Striker 9 category that I can possibly think of. It's got a very simple, nice blade safety right here very very smooth take up no creep no stacking whatsoever get to that wall very 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 crisp reset very short reset super super crisp i love this trigger as far as the trigger pull weight goes mine averages around three pounds and 14 ounces which is definitely pretty light for a defensive pistol but damn it feels good as far as the grip on the ccp 10 c goes, it's definitely more on the shallow end of grip angles. Definitely allows me to point more naturally. I really like it. It's also got a very nice deep beaver tail and an indentation underneath the trigger guard that all allows my hand to fit right in there like a puzzle piece. It's really, really wonderful. As far as the grip texture goes, it's definitely more on the aggressive end of things. If you're shooting rounds through this thing all day, you're probably going to feel it probably gonna feel like you sandpapered your hands off and that's probably because you actually did it's an excellent exfoliant however I'd much rather have a more aggressive texture than not I want to maintain a good purchase when I'm shooting also it does feel like it wears through a little bit over time again not sure if that's actually the gun or if that's actually just my hands but either way I think it's great another really cool and good thing that CZ did was include three different back straps for the grip this allows the grip to better conform to your hand shape and size. The CCP-10C also includes a standard Picatinny accessory rail. On this one, I have my Streamlight TLR 7A. Beep, beep. As the name implies, the Optics Ready version comes with a mounting position for optics. As opposed to sending your slide away to get it specifically milled for the optic in question, this one just uses mounting plates. This mounting plate is from CZ Custom and is for Trigicon RMR. As far as the general performance of the CZP-10C goes, I absolutely have no complaints whatsoever. The 4-inch barrel allows me to hit human-sized steel targets at 100 yards, no problem, and I've dumped thousands of rounds through this thing with no hiccups whatsoever. One of the very few downsides to the CZP-10C are the amount of accessories available to you. Because this is a hipster gun, most people just apparently haven't heard of it and haven't designed enough holsters around it. Obviously, level 1 retention holsters are very widely available, Everyone and their mother makes Kydex, but level two retention's a little bit trickier. The tier one concealment Centurion is one of these exceptions. This is actually a pretty decent holster and I do recommend it. And so that wraps up my review of this nice little nine millimeter striker fired polymer compact. I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the CCP-10C and that this information was useful to you. I wanna give a huge shout out to thank all of my patrons on Patreon. You can catch some of their names at the end of this video. If you want to help sustain and improve this production, please go to patreon.com slash tacticalgf. Thank you. Well, that wraps it up for me today. I really appreciate y'all tuning in. And as always, take care. Bye.